Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to this video. This is John from Programming Knowledge and we will continue um, to work with our project or progressive web app project and from the last tutorial we implemented the add new contact logic right here um, we have the form uh, query selector and we're trying to select the form and we're trying to um, listen for the submit event and if that uh, happens then we're gonna prevent the default behavior of that particular form and then we're getting the value of our contacts coming from our form um, respectively um, respectively like the name the numbers or the contact numbers and then right after that we're adding that into our collection or DB collection which is the contacts that we have created into the Firebase or yeah we created that from the Firebase back and um, this particular DB collection contacts and then uh, whenever there's like an error then we uh, we're catching that by using this particular clause right here and lagging that into the console and right after that we're um, trying to set the value into empty for the field name and of course the field numbers so in this video guys we're going to add also the delete logic for this particular project so uh, we have the add logic so now we're we will try to to work with the logic of delete now in order for us to um, you know to be able to delete a contact coming from our database we will try to listen also a click event inside our DOM so inside our project so basically we will um, declare here a constant and then we will try to select the contact container equals document and then query selector and we'll specify here the class name for the contacts or I mean the contact container which is contacts so this particular uh, element is located here in our inside our index.html file and we can see here we have the class contacts right so basically what we're trying to do is uh, try to listen or add event to this particular um, area right here so whenever the user clicks on this delete um, icon so the data should be deleted Okay, so semicolon and then we're gonna say here contact container and then add event listener and we're gonna specify here the click event and we're gonna have to add a function right here so inside this function um, we could console event or I mean console log the event there you go and then we could also check for example if the event the target um, tag name or equals the i then uh, we can say cons id equals the event target and then get attribute and then um, data ID and we're gonna use this ID to delete the, the, the specific contacts from our database our firebase database so DB collection and then open and close parenthesis we're gonna say here contacts this is our collection contacts and then doc and then open and close parenthesis specify the ID and then the function or the yeah function delete so this will try to delete the contact or the record contact from our firebase database okay so after this 
um, here before the logic of adding new contact we will also add the real-time listener for our um, uh, project for example we if we add a contact we should be able to detect that there's a new contact and it should sync with our display inside here in uh, the index that uh, index.html so we're gonna add here as i've said real-time listener for any changes like for example adding or you know deleting a contact so we can see here db collection and then of course again specify the contacts collection and then on snapshot so this is um, coming from the firebase and then this particular function we will accept a another function snapshot and then arrow and then we're going to use this snapshot variable right here okay so for snapshot and then doc changes uh, if there's like changes inside the document then we're gonna um, iterate through that collection so by using for each for and then each and then let's make this a function and uh, another parameter change and we're gonna make use of this change right here so we're gonna check if change that type equals to added so if the change or the type of change is added then we could render contact and we're gonna we will try to create this function render contact so that will be change and then doc and then data and then change that doc id okay so again we will create this render contact function and we will specify the data and of course the id there you go and if we we will try to check also if the type of uh, change is removed then we're gonna have to add another logic for that so change that type was to remove then uh, instead of render contact where we will use remove contact there you go so again we will create functions remove contact and render, uh, render contact later on so that will be change that doc that it okay save this so now we have the add new contact logic we also have the delete a new contact or i mean delete a contact and also we are trying to um, listen for changes or real-time changes for this particular collection contacts and if the type of change is added then we will render the new contact into the dom of our project and if the change type is equal to remove then we will try to remove that from our database also so after that we're going to the we will open the commons.js so in here we will try to um, implement the render contact function okay so render contact it will be constant render contact equals um, data I mean yeah the parameters data in ID um, as you can remember here we supply the render contact with this particular parameters contact data and doc ID so uh, we will render the 
HTML. So that will be cons and then HTML equals, okay, and then backticks. There you go. And inside the, the HTML will be the HTML that we are, we are using right here. So we have the contact details, contact options, and also the image. So what we could do is try to copy and paste this. And paste it here. Okay. Now, uh, we're, going, we're going to interpolate the values for our contacts. Like for example, the names and the, the numbers. And also, yeah, uh, that's the name and numbers. So inside, instead of Jando, we're going to be using interpolation here, dollar sign, and then uh, open and close curly braces. We're going to specify the data and then name. And in here, we're going to change that also. Open and close curly braces, and then data that number okay and um inside here the delete um, icon then we're going to specify the data id or did yeah data attribute with id and we're gonna add interpolation again here um, specifying the id so we got this id coming from our parameter there you go and after render contact we will also add um this or i mean inside this render contact we will um append this html into our contacts uh, what do you call this contacts div okay so we will try to append that inside this particular div contacts so what we could do is try to add a const right here that will be const contacts and then document and then query selector open and close parentheses and then specify the contacts class there you go and we will add, uh, we will add the or i mean append um, contacts and then inner html we're setting that into the html that we have here where where we interpolated the string values of our contacts say for example the name and the number okay so this is rather long tutorial and i hope you are following with this tutorial and in the next video we're going to add also the remove contact function that we are trying to use here okay so we implemented the render contact already and in the next video we're going to continue with our pwa tutorial so i hope you learned something from this tutorial and if you are new here in our youtube channel you can subscribe and press the notification bell so you will so you will get updated whenever we have a new upload so thank you for watching guys and see you in the next video